Hello, it's so good to be with you. I've missed seeing my Sunday school friends and my church friends. It's been a long time. School has started for some students or other students are getting ready to go back. It's called back to school time and you need a backpack when you go back to school to take all your things. Back to school time can be filled with worries or fears, anxieties, because you don't know what exactly is going to happen. And that's in normal times, but in the time of the coronavirus, we also have some new fears. And I say we because your parents and grandparents and friends are worried about you going back to school in this different time. But back to school is still exciting because you get to have some new things. You might get a new notebook, new pencils, new crayons. That's exciting, but you might also be worried a little bit about some things. So you might be worried that you aren't prepared for your new grade in school. You might be worried about loud noises. They scare you. Thunder. You might be worried that you aren't going to have any friends. And you might be worried that your teacher might get sick. Oh, this backpack is really heavy now. What are we going to do? But there's some steps you can take so you aren't worried about what happens. You can recognize that you are anxious. How do you know if you're anxious? Sometimes your tummy hurts feels all funny and sometimes you might get a headache or you might feel lightheaded. So once you recognize you're anxious, then you need to figure out what are you worried about? Name your worry. If you're worried that your teacher might be sick, then you can talk to an adult about that you're worried that your teacher might get sick because she has to go into the school and teach. And then you need to think positive thoughts. And that would be that you know that your teacher and all the administrators at the school are cleaning the school and give her hand sanitizer and a mask and all the things she needs to be safe so she won't get sick and spread the virus. And negative thoughts are usually when you go, what if, what if she gets sick? What if she doesn't wash her hands? What if the... Students don't wash their hands and spread the germs, but you want to think positive thoughts. And then the fourth thing you can do is to give your worry to God and to pray. And there's a Bible verse that tells us about this. It's from Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7. Do not be anxious about anything. But in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And that means don't worry in any circumstance. Anytime you're thinking, go by prayer and ask God, thanking Him. To say, please, God, take my worries away and fill me with your peace. So with all your worries given to God, this backpack sure is much lighter. I think I can carry it now. I hope you can remember to pray and ask God to take your worries away. So let's pray. Let's fold our hands and bow our hands and close our eyes. Your eyes. Dear God. Help us to recognize our fears and worries and help us give them to you. Help us trust in you to provide for us. Grant us your peace that will guard our hearts and minds from worry. Amen.